Aaron Phipps is like any other teenager. He goes to college, he likes the girls, and most of all, his new car. But at 16, Aaron was struck down by meningitis. He lost his legs, seven fingers, and a thumb. Incredibly, it was Honey that gave him back his life. Honey completely changed my life. I went from being laid in a hospital bed and nothing happening to being able to walk again and get on with my life. Meningitis C hit suddenly and without warning. One minute Aaron was booked to go skiing, the next he was being resuscitated in intensive care. Septicemia or blood poisoning then set in. The amputation saved his life, but chronic sores refused to heal. The skin graft started to fail and then I was left with even more lesions because I had the um, donor sites, which is where they take the skin from, and the lesions from the meningitis. Taking my dressings off and having my dressings changed was absolute agony. You know, it was really bad. Clinical nurse Cheryl Dunford was looking after Aaron. Hello. Hello Aaron. Hey, how are you? All right. By this well. stage, Good the pain was so you. severe, his dressings had to be changed under general anaesthetic twice a week. We really didn't know where to go. We were all racking our brains and uh, just happened to remember having read an article on honey. I remember that day when you come in and said, yeah, we're going to put honey on your legs. That was quite funny, because if they said they were going to put horse manure on my legs, I would have said yes at that point. We just got so desperate, we tried mm. absolutely everything. Yeah. Can I have a look at your skin? I'm just wondering yes, um, what your scar tissue is Yeah, like. it's pretty much OK yeah. now. Let's have a look. Yeah, the results were miraculous. Within days, the honey applied to his wounds and impregnated into the dressings yep. started to heal the wounds. New and tissue began to grow, yeah, really and Aaron was weaned off the massive no, doses of painkillers he'd needed flush. before. Gosh, well. yes, that's got very flat and pale too. Yep. That's very pale. Within ten very weeks, flat. he was home. Yep. Oh, it was phenomenal. If you think that for nine months he'd gone nowhere, we hadn't got any healing, and yet within six to ten weeks we completely healed all of those different lesions. It was really incredible. Well, it was an amazing difference. It was like a complete miracle, to be honest with you. It was, um, it went from no healing whatsoever and feeling quite depressed to, well, it was brilliant, really. Honey's miraculous powers are not a new discovery. Egyptians, Greeks and Roman warriors all knew that honey could heal. But it was forgotten as modern medicine hailed the new era of antibiotics in the 1940s. Now as virulent multi-drug resistant superbugs are winning the war with antibiotics, honey is making a comeback. One of the most potent honeys of all is found in New Zealand. It's here that Dr. Peter Molan, professor of biochemistry at Waikato University, is at the forefront of honey research. As well as clearing any infection that may be present, it has a very potent anti-inflammatory action which soothes the wound and removes the inflammation which otherwise would stop it from healing and it stimulates the tissues to grow and repair the wound. Uh, it also stops any scarring occurring in that healing process. The secret of honey is glucose oxidase, an enzyme found in the bee's saliva, which combines with nectar to make honey. The enzyme's antibacterial properties protect the honey from contamination. This enzyme also converts glucose to hydrogen peroxide, a gentle disinfectant. The acidity of honey is enough to stop bacteria from growing. The hydrogen peroxide that's produced at safe levels, only about a thousandth of the level of a bottle of hydrogen peroxide antiseptic, but still enough to stop bacteria from growing, uh, is another factor involved. But you have to choose your honey carefully. Honeys vary 100-fold in their antibacterial potency depending on the flowers the bees take a liking to. Manuka honey, derived from the Manuka plant in New Zealand, is one of the best of them all. It's one of only two honeys used for surgical purposes. Its level of antibacterial properties are high, but it also has a mystery ingredient, known as the Manuka factor. 
which scientists are still trying to understand. Manuka honey is exceptional. There's nothing reported like it in the world. It will penetrate skin very well and goes quite deeply into infected tissues. But before stashing a jar of Manuka honey in your medicine chest, one word of warning. Honey can contain spores that cause botulism, which could make an infection worse. For surgical use, Manuka honey is specially sterilized. It's best to leave the honey in your kitchen to put on your toast.